What's up my ponyos, Andy with Andy Vlogs, doing a part two of, I guess, my infamous video that everyone's been commenting on. I, it's gotten way more views than it should, but thank you so much for your support. That is the video that states how to turn your A6000, A6400, A6300, Sony mirrorless camera into a webcam. If you haven't seen that video yet, please watch it first. Uh, you can see it here up in the, uh, the cards. But I wanted to do a follow-up of that video because so many people had questions and I didn't, I guess, properly address the elephant in the room. I was just really excited that I could get rid of all of the this interface from the screen, but I failed to explain how to do that. And so that's what this video is all about. It's explaining exactly how you turn it from a camera into a webcam and not just getting rid of the interface uh, actually using what I what's called a capture card to do so I've got two different capture cards that you can see this is the Aver media live capture portable 2 this outputs 4k but it captures in 1080p 60 frames a second and then I've got the the Elgato 60 plus these are commonly known as capture cards in the gaming and streaming world. So if you don't really know what this is, Google it. Um, the brand is Elgato and the brand is Aver Media. So these are the two capture cards that I use. There's a commonly used device from Elgato. They make, it's called the Camlink. So basically it's a little tiny fob like this where it's got a, it's a female HDMI to micro USB. This is definitely not that. This is a USB 3 to USB-C, but that's what it looks like. You basically get your HDMI mail, you plug it in, and then this goes into your computer. That's what's commonly used in the industry. I didn't have $150 to spend, and I bought this capture card back in like 2016, so I figured it would work. So basically you plug in the input, the, mic, mic, the HDMI cord, right? Then you have to get your USB cord. This is a mini USB. This goes into your computer through USB. And then if you want, you can actually output the video as well. So if you have a TV or a monitor, you can get another USB, uh, HDMI cord and you can output the video from your device. Here is my Alpha 6400 Sony mirrorless camera. Over on the side here, you've got all of these components. This is where you're gonna plug in the micro HDMI cord into the device. All right, I've got my out output. I'm gonna plug it right into my TV and then my TV's gonna turn on. Here's the camera. Now it's webcam, so that's the output. Now that we've gone over the capture card, we need to now go over the software that you use. There's two really well-known capture card software that you can use in order to do this to stream live. There's XSplit and there's OBS. OBS and XSplit allow you to capture your screen. So basically, I'm on my computer right now, as you can see, and I've captured up here my desktop. The one on the right is XSplit, and that's exactly where I'm recording. On the left side is OBS. This is through Streamlabs. It's another partner that they work with um, that does live streaming. I'm not gonna go into it specifically how to do it, but you can kind of see that it's got an interface and uh, you can actually, from here, you can have it recognize the capture card that you've used. I mean, I'm not gonna go into the details of how to set up a live stream because that's for an entirely different video. Guys, let me know in the comments below if you want me to go through how to set up live streaming and have it recognized in your capture card. Uh, with that being said, guys, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and shift over now back to the couch and show you what it looks like real time when you're capturing your screen and what your camera looks like. Now, now you can see everything right up here that the camera sees, just like a webcam. And you can crop in, you can see those bars. You can see my workstation. You can see my beautiful face. Beautiful, beautiful. Look, it looks way better with that bokeh. Looks way better. My hair's all over the place. <laughs> I hope this was uh, helpful, my friends. Hopefully you guys uh, found some something interesting with regards to this tutorial. 
Um, it's very much catered towards streamers. Now you can use as a viable option your Sony, Alpha, whatever mirrorless camera. And that's what I use for my streams. If you guys want to check out my channel, it's up there. It's a gaming channel. Other than that, that's basically how you do it. Um, I mean, I didn't really go through how to do it with the Aver Media. It's the same thing. You, you plug it in, you've got the in and out HDMI, and then you can basically turn it into a webcam. Thanks so much for joining me. Um, I have a room to clean and, and uh, some lunch to eat. Hit that like button, subscribe if you wanna see more of these types of tutorials. I do have another one coming out with regards to the best uh, accessories for this device. I've got a bunch of accessories, including what's connected there. Um, so hit that like button and subscribe for more. Thanks guys, Andy with Andy Vlogs, signing out.